I remember the night of my 21st birthday. That was the first time I died. Gravesend construction site. Aptly named. Classic mob venture filled with blue-collar construction workers armed to the teeth. And my boss, Uncle Pauly, sent me here to whack the foreman. Like I said, classic. Me and Pauly never did agree about the way things were being done. Pauly took the business into selling drugs, working side by side with the cops. When I was growing up, the family had codes. We did business. We looked out for the people. I believe we ought to honor those codes. Now, Pauly, he's just a parasite. Wants to bleed me dry. I've heard people complain that life is unpredictable. Well, I never had a life that was predictable. But what happened to me today? That's why I need you, Jenny. You're the only one I can count on. Ever been in love with somebody who was so beautiful and pure, you couldn't bear to show them your own darkness? That's how I feel about you. We grew up together in St. Mary's Orphanage. I guess I'm gonna have to tell you the truth about what kind of scumbag I really am. What the hell am I gonna say? If there's one untouchable in this business, it's Butcher Joyce. You put out a hit on some guy, Butcher flushes his body. No one's ever the wiser. Butcher knows everyone's business. But what keeps him alive is that he never, ever chooses a side. Yeah. Too bad there's a war coming. Listen, the best way to my Uncle Paulie's heart is through his ribcage with a meat cleaver. Failing that, you screw up his distribution and let the Chicago people collect on him. Now, I've been all over town picking up Paulie's drug money from his street peddlers, but I've never been to Dutch Oven Harry's. My Uncle Paulie's pretty much a scumbag. Not that anyone has the balls to tell him to his face. Paulie took me out of an orphanage I lived in after my parents died. It's kind of like being rescued from a shark attack by a grizzly bear. The only reason he took me in was because he needed another hitman. We never did see eye to eye. Anyone who says the subway is dangerous never sat in the back of a yellow cab going the wrong way at 90 miles an hour through the Midtown Tunnel with a guy who can't speak a lick of English, my buddy, Crazy Abdul. Grinders Lane. This is the center of Paulie's operation. Place always makes me want to kick a fucking dog. Or something. I love this subway station. My Uncle Paulie brought me down here on vacation one time. Count the trains. Best two days me and him ever spent together. When you kill for a living, life's only precious if you're staring down the barrel of a gun. Or somebody you care about is. Paulie can have my possessions, my life, Anything I own. Anything except you. Anything! <laughs> this is my puppet! Now watch this! Dumb dick. Jackie was so right about uh, you. Shut up, you dumb broad! You're giving me a fucking headache! This was your idea, Franchetti. 
If it was up to me, I'd have blown her brains out already. Yeah, well, it's not up to me. Fuck you! Why are you doing this? Maybe you should ask your boyfriend when he gets here. Jackie? Why haven't you fucked him oh, over shut enough? Shut your fucking mouth, bitch! He's still in watch. Okay. Please don't kill me. No! Oh! Oh! Damn it! Your flesh is mine. Your will is mine. Well, 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 just in time. I heard you and your girlfriend grew up here, Estacado. What a shithole. Broke my nose. And now the place looks like it was hit by a bomb. Oh, Get up. what's the matter? Don't know your ass from your elbow with all that demon shit? You, you know why we're here? As you heard me, Jackie. I took you in for my own. I trusted you. So now all this blood is on your hands. Jackie, what's going on? Get me out of here. Ah, shut the fuck up! No. You see a happy ending here, Jackie? You figure you got something to bargain with me so that I don't blow her fucking brains out her fucking nose? Because the way I see it, you got nothing. It just gets bigger and bigger, don't it, Jackie boy? We hurt you, you hurt us. It's like some fucking game we're playing here. And you caused me a lot of trouble, boy. You were my blood, Jackie. I loved you like a son, and you took from me. You stole my respect, and you stole my trust. And when blood takes from blood, someone always pays. So now, I take from you. Jackie, this is not your fault. That was the first time I died. There's no explanation for what's happened to me. Maybe this place isn't a place at all. Maybe it's a state of mind. I mean, I'm supposed to be dead. I remember you. I remember the gunshot. There's something important here that the darkness is trying to protect. I could feel its agitation. But if I stay the course, if I defy the voices in my head and never look back, maybe up ahead I'll see a light. And maybe in that light, I'll see you, Jenny. Somewhere, somehow, the darkness is doing whatever it can to keep me alive. Because it needs a human host. But not one that thinks and acts for itself. Like me. My Aunt Sarah. Now she taught me about life. After I left the orphanage, she was the one person who cared for me. And she loved you. Now when her husband Jimmy Franchetti died, 
The family forgot about her, except for the older guys and me. It's like I have everything to live for and nothing to gain. I got nothing worth having without you. But at least I got a purpose. And that's tearing Eddie Schrote into a thousand pieces. It's my reason to live. Even a guy like Eddie Schrote has a good side and a bad side. Now, he's killed and tortured a few people. But then again, you should see his bad side. Now, I try not to judge. But for what he did to you, both sides are as good as dead. This is City Hall. You know, it used to be a subway station. But it pretty much went to hell a few years ago. It's the only way through to where I need to go. Back to the motherfuckers who killed you. These are the old Turkish baths. Schroed's secret warehouse full of stolen evidence. But I got a little birthday surprise waiting for me. Courtesy of good old Butcher Joyce. All I gotta do is get through half a legion of bank cops, find that suitcase, and bring it back to the butcher. Fight fire with fire. That's what I always say. My Uncle Paul, he always goes for the spectacular when he's breaking somebody's balls. Let's see how he likes it when I do the same to his main man, Eddie. Used to be the only person I cared about was you. Now, the only person I care about is Eddie Schrote. Him and my Uncle Paulie. You just hang in there, Eddie. I didn't forget about you. Chinatown. You're not here anymore. I'm trying to remember you. But all I get is this stupid shit. Like your wallpaper. Smelling your hallway. Even my mind is fighting me. Luck isn't just luck. It's preparation meets opportunity. Well, I got my opportunity. Jury's out on whether or not I'm really prepared. One thing I know for sure. This is my path to the men who killed you. There's no way in hell anyone can stop me from paying them back for what they did. You realize no one's getting out of this alive, right? You know, Estacado, I never did like Paulie Franchetti. No, stupid puppet! And that, <laughs> that was the second time I died. I never felt like I needed much. Place to sleep, food and drink. Maybe a piece for protection. I need a cannon shell, need a little hope. I need to know why the darkness is lying to me. I need to see you again. Did you ever hear a scream and realize it was you? Not you. Something inside you. Something that has no right to be there. I hear the darkness. Crying foul because it knows I'm about to gain control. Because it's afraid. What if you get to the end of the line? I mean, what then? Maybe there is a way out. And I just can't find it yet. Or maybe it's through here. In the heart of the darkness. Or maybe I'm just walking into a trap. This is the heart of the darkness. 
It's where the creature dwells. I think this is the end of the line. There's something coming. Maybe it's that eclipse they were talking about on the news. Yeah, just feels weird. Whatever it is, it's big. I feel like a penguin trying to stop a runaway polar bear. The Mother of God thing was way too obvious. I figured it had to be something else. Now, I knew that Aunt Sarah and Butcher were ready to see Schrote and Paulie's asses on a platter. I've already got an opening. Maybe they can help turn it into a gaping hole. I know a guy that worked down here one time. Yeah, Mickey Fat Lips. Weird son of a bitch. Used to collect subway tokens and feed them to his cat. You say, Jackie, here, try one. They're a good source of eye. Stupid fuck. During the war, they used to have this saying, loose lips sink ships. Now I know what they mean. And soon, the Chicago families will know too. All I need is that radio to call in their boat. Ah, I used to jump in and out of train tracks down here when I was a little kid. You know, those of us who survived, we really love that game. Tell you what, it's all a matter of timing. When I was a kid, I used to think that the subway system was like one big plate of spaghetti and all the stations were meatballs. My Uncle Paulie smacked me upside the head whenever I talked about stuff like that. I love the way a subway smells. A combination of garbage, piss, and a burning motor. Especially in the heat of summer. A job's not worth doing. Unless you do it right. Paulie's a dead man. Unless he grows a beard and learns how to speak Swahili. Or he won't get a chance. Not for as long as I draw breath. Now that Paulie's found out that the old crew's on my side, it's like some snake bit him on the heel. Next thing I know, I got Jimmy the Grape and everybody all holed up at Aunt Sarah's place, while Paulie's boys crawl on all over them like stink on shit. I guess maybe this is what I wanted all along. The opportunity to impress. I'm close. Yeah, real close. But I can feel the darkness twisting. It wants this more than anything. It thrives in the madness. You can feel the coming eclipse. And it's agitated. I'm beginning to lose control. End of story. Except I'm not the one lining up for the last rites. It's my loving Uncle Paulie. He knows the end of the story as well as I do. But he don't like it as much. You know what I say to that? Fuck him. Ah! Listen, Jackie, I've been thinking... I, I know this worked out bad for both of us, but there's no need to be rash here. <laughs> Why don't you fucking listen to me, you piece of shit? When he dies, I own you. Take his life so that I can take yours. I mean, you think hard. Don't make a hasty decision. I could do a lot for a guy like you. Mr. Carl, 
You fucking piece of shit! I hope you rot in hell forever! Was the end of the line. There's always a little light in the darkness. Didn't I tell you so, sweets? Jenny? We get one moment, Jackie. It's all they can allow. What? Who? Just one moment. Just to say goodbye. You were everything to me. And all I ever did was kill you. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I can't forgive you, Jackie. How can I forgive you when it wasn't your fault? You have to go now. I don't want to go. I want to stay here with you. I know. Am I dreaming? Yes. You have to wake up now. <laughs>